OnePlus officially launched the OnePlus 10 Pro in China, and quite strangely, there was only one model announced at the event. In fact, they didn't even mention anything about the OnePlus 10 standard version. But if OnePlus decided to keep a launch event just for one model, it's clear that the brand considers this to be a very important model in their lineup. And since we were a bit disappointed over the OnePlus 9 series, we wondered whether the 10 Pro could earn back the reputation for the lineup this year. Therefore, we pre-ordered the phone even before the launch and luckily got to be one of the very first to get the package. Today, let's check out what it offers. The box comes in a recognizable OnePlus-like style, including the black on the red design. The packaging of the OnePlus 10 Pro doesn't seem to have anything to do with being environmental friendly. At the bottom, you can see the Hasselblad showing up for the second time. The corporation is still going on strong. Open the box and you will find everything to be quite similar to phones with much smaller boxes. All you have got is still the 10 Pro phone itself, a phone case and the 80 watt wire charging kit. Coming back to the phone, to be honest, it seems to take design cues from the Samsung Galaxy S21 series. The ceramic camera housing melts with the frame like on the Samsung flagship. It also retains the signature logos and the matte rear glass panel from the 9 Pro. Notably, the OnePlus 10 Pro is only available in two colors, black and green. The phone is 8.5mm thick which makes it feel a bit bulky. It's worth mentioning that many brands now are thinking about slimming down their flagship devices while OnePlus has decided to go the opposite way. On the front, the phone comes with a 6.7 inch second generation LTP RAM LoL display with support for an adaptive refresh rate. This curved panel has a resolution of 1440p pixel and a punch hole at the top left corner. Other specs of the display include 1300 net peak brightness and 92.7% screen to body ratio. This along with Corning Gorilla Glass Victus protection make it one of the top screens in the market right now. And this screen did look stunning when we played HDR content. The phone is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset paired with LPDDR5 RAM and UFC 3.1 storage. For the China version, it's the debut model for ColorOS 12.1 based on Android 12. The latest version of Oppo's mobile operating system brings features such as Hyper Boost for gaming and more. And OnePlus Pro claimed that the 10 Pro has the best gaming experience among flagships. We will show you how exactly it performs in our latter full review video. Stay tuned. As far as the optics are concerned, the OnePlus 10 Pro houses the triple camera setup on the rear. This system includes a 48 megapixel Sony IMX 789 primary sensor with OIS, a 50 megapixel Samsung JN1 sensor 150 degrees ultra wide unit, and an 8 megapixel 3.3 times telephoto shooter with OIS. But to be honest, the new setup didn't really cheer me up since we got the same IMX 789 sensor and even a much better IMX 766 ultra wide unit on its predecessor. To give you a better picture about this camera, we'll talk about this in our full review later. For selfies and video calls, there's a 32 megapixel Sony IMX 615 sensor on the front. All of these cameras are co-tuned by Hasselblad with features like Hasselblad Natural Color Optimization 2.0 and Xpen Mode. Other features of the OnePlus 10 Pro also bring a better interactive experience, including the X-axis liner vibration motor and the dual stereo speakers with support for Dolby Atmos. The greatest upgrade on paper is the phone's power solution. It gets its energy from a 5000 mAh battery. This cell can be filled either by 80 watt super fast wire charging or 50 watt air VOC fast wireless charging. In addition, it also has support for reverse wireless charging. The OnePlus 10 Pro now is available for sale from around 737 US dollars, which is almost the same as the pricing of the Xiaomi 12 Pro. So I'm wondering whether you guys are interested in their comparison, or if you have a better model to compare with OnePlus flagship, just leave your ideas down below, we will take it seriously. As for its full review, we're working hard to make sure that you can watch it this weekend, so please remember to click the subscribe button and stay tuned.